Hi, welcome to a new episode of Pickleball 411. I'm Rusty, and this show from Pickleball Channel is all about providing helpful information about the sport of pickleball. Today, we're gonna cover the basics of the dink and why it's so important. So, let's learn and play. Pickleball 411 is powered by Highlands Leg Cramps, proud supporter of pickleball players everywhere. Here at Pickleball Channel, we talk a lot about dinking or the soft game. But what exactly is a dink and how can it improve your game? Today we're going to hear from Pickleball Ambassador Tom Early. His advice has helped hundreds of people and grown the sport in his native Georgia. He's going to break down the basics of the dink and talk about why you need it. Hello, my name is Tom and we're going to be discussing uh, dinking as part of the soft game of pickleball. A dink really is a short drop shot that originates from the non-volley line that goes over the net and drops into the non-volley zone. And it has its own strategy and how to win a point from the dink. When people learn pickleball, they learn to hit the ball hard and continually hit the ball hard and never really know that the soft game exists. But once they confront a player that knows the soft game, then they are find themselves at an extreme disadvantage immediately. So why do we need the dink? Uh, there are many reasons, but the most important is that it neutralizes an opponent that is used to playing a hard game. It helps the person that is dinking control the player that wants to hit hard. It neutralizes his shot, therefore uh, he has to play the soft game with you. If a ball comes to your opponent and is actually in the non-volley zone, if that uh, opponent hits it hard, it's going to either go into the net or if it clears the net, it's probably going to go out of bounds. It's very difficult to hit a hard ball from a low position in the non-volley zone. One thing that dinking does uh, take, though, is a lot of patience. You may dink four, five, six times before you actually set the point up in order to make a winner. Patience is extremely important because without it, people will tend to rush and hit the ball into the net or hit it high to where the opponent can smash it back to them. First of all, you want to bend at the knees, not at the waist. Bending at the knees allows you to point the leading edge of the paddle toward the net at about a 45 degree angle. You want your wrist to be stiff as your elbow and you're going to be swinging from the shoulder. It's extremely important to watch the ball all the way till it hits the center of your paddle and then you finish the stroke with a nice follow through. One last thing to consider in dinking is when you finish your dink, it's extremely important to bring your paddle back up into the ready position. You really don't know if your opponent is going to dink back to you or perhaps hit a slap shot. And with your paddle ready, you'll be able to handle either one. So keep working on your dink. It will give you a very positive and new dimension to your game. So that's our Pickleball 411 for today. I really want to thank Tom for his time and his great advice about dinking. We really hope this has been helpful, and now there's only one thing left to do, and that's go play. If there's something you think Pickleball 411 should cover, we'd love to hear from you. All you have to do is send us an email and tell us your idea. This episode of Pickleball 411 has been brought to you by Highlands Leg Cramps, America's number one over-the-counter leg cramp medicine. For more information, go to highlands.com.